hey guys welcome back to this channel i'm ella and in this video we are going to work on a waterfall we are going to create a water falling from this point for this stand here and we are going to work on its material and its model first let me show you around this is a very simple scene that i have created this is the launch part and this is our little pool it have no depths it's maybe like 30 centimeter in here and in this part we have two other chairs and also this is a very simple shape simple sweep with this part here which we are going to model our waterfall in here let's go back to Revit in here I have created two different like detail section for this part and this part just to see our stand better and control it easier for creating our model we need to go to massing we're going to use this mass option in revit for this part because we want to create a like a curvish form for this so click on this in place mass and let's call it waterfall now set your work plan on this this part here and if you go back to one of these modes you can see your work plan is active in here i mean this blue part now let's go to bottom view and go back to wireframe in here we are going to use this model and this sp line mode and we are going to create a shape like this it doesn't matter where you click you just need to create something like this okay now if you want to turn it into a like a surface you need to select it and click on this create form and this solid form here now select this line and move it down until you reach this border here go to right view if you want to be accurate probably somewhere here now if you go back to consistent color you will see your form here now select your form and create a permit for its material click on this new permit here and let's call it water now you can hit finish for adding material we need to select this form and go to its edit type in here click on this part and create a new material for it let's call it waterfall first thing we need to do is to add a texture for it and to find the best texture go to google and search waterfall texture and you will see all of these different types of textures here if it's me i'm going to use something like this one or this one probably this looks good too and also this one it depends on your design and your preferences maybe you can use something like this too I promise it might look good in some areas but I'm going to use this one so download it and go back to Revit go to manage and material part in here first click on this image and select your texture I'm going to use this one okay select it and go to its setting in here we need to change its scale and also position to fit it in this part so I'm going to change these two parts to none just to delete that tile mode and I'm going to change its scale to let's say 1 to 4 or probably 2 to 4 let's first apply to see how it will look like this is not the best look and we need to change it I want to change its scale and also its position so I'm going to use this 1 to 2 and I'm going to change this one to let's say 1 to 3 for example okay this look much better Finally, I think these numbers look the best on this part. So let's move on to the next part. Scroll down and check this bump section and add that 
black white texture to that we need to add that exact numbers to this part too so i'm going to use all of those settings for this part and then i'm going to increase this amount to let's say something like this a little more this looks good after this we are going to go to transparency and we're going to add textures if you want for example in this transparency or this translucency section i'm going to add some texture the same black white texture to this part too and i'm going to change its position and the scale to those numbers again and let's see how it will look like perfect i think this looks the best here right if you want you can add translucency like this and you can play with transparency also then i'm going to check this reflectivity and i'm going to increase this closeness and i hope it works in some perspectives now the only thing you need to do in this part is to play with all of these numbers in here until you find the best look for your material this is everything you need to know about waterfall material before you export this go to visual setting and output and check this box here if you want to have like material id and object id if you want to work on this and add like motion blur or simply blur to this part in post-production don't forget to check these two parts and now your scene is ready for render so yes that's it i hope this was useful for you and you enjoyed watching this tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next tutorial